a brand new isekai anime that starts off on a convenience store. Suddenly, a lot of people start screaming as they are running away from the store. Two young girls ran into him and fell. A man with a knife came out wanting to kill those young girls. Now our sacrificial lamb aka soon to be sent to isekai guy. Charges forward to stop the man. Guess what he did? He ran into the knife. <laughs> he starts to bleed a lot. He is glad that those girls are okay, but it seems like he is going to die. He wakes up as a kid on an unfamiliar fancy room where a maid calls him Master Kane. Oh now I love this anime. A woman hugs him asking if he remembers his mother. Kane starts to panic screaming who the hell is that to the mirror. Confusing both his mom and the maid. Little guy was reincarnated in a palace. His mother is concerned as Kane doesn't remember who he is. Apparently he was asleep for a week due to fever. Sylvia, the maid, goes and brings the soup that mother made for Kane. Meanwhile Kane has no clue who any of them are. But it seems he still has his past memory from the outside world as he is able to remember that this feels like reincarnation thing that happens in light novels. Which made him realize he did really die that night. Well, who cares now it's time to check surroundings. Sylvia comes in with the soup, shocked with Kane who is checking whatever is under there. She thinks Kane has wet himself, time to clean him up. Sylvia is glad that Kane likes the food. She then picks him up and do pat 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 before letting Kane go to sleep. Now it's time for the complicated Ice Guy family introduction. His name is Kane Vaughn Silford and he is 3 years old. His father, Graham. His mother, Sarah. He also have a sister, Rain, who is 2 years older than him. Not done yet. Sarah is the second wife and the first wife being, Maria. Maria has two sons, Jen and Alec. Which makes him, Garm's third son. Enough introduction? Nope not yet. Garm is a high-ranking noble. He has his own army to protect border against Forgan invaders. And in south of Gracia, the part of the kingdom of Esfort that Lord Garm oversees, is a forest of monsters. Magic exists in this world which makes Cain very interested and he made up his mind to live out his life here. Because in the world he came from, he was an orphan as his last relative, his grandpa had just died. His Isakai mom and dad is surprised that Cain is already able to write and even do maths. Cain can't tell them that this tiny body has the mind of a high schooler in it. So he just said that Sylvia is good at teaching. She happy. Cain then asks them if he is allowed to read books on magic and the kingdom's history. They are really happy to hear that Cain is interested in magic. But as his sister said, he needs to be baptized before he is able to use magic powers. Well that was a lie. And thank God Sylvia is either blind or dumbass for not being able to notice what he is doing. Suddenly Rain appears out of nowhere saying that she knows Cain has been studying the outside world in secret. From then on, Sister Rain stopped by his room every day to teach him about the 300 year history of the Kingdom of Esfort. There are also elves, dwarfs, beast folks and fluffy things. Baptism Day Here he comes. His family really loves him, especially Rain. They are admired by people in the kingdom. Cain then asks what's it's like to be bestowed with status magic? Rain was granted level 2 protection by the god of magic. Magic and protection are attainable in levels 1 through 5. The only way to get it is by the marine ford way of worshipping seven pillar gods. They are here to inform the gods that Cain is now 5 years old and ready. It begins. A bright light appears from the seven statues. Cain is summoned the world of the seven gods. Now, get ready from the gods' turn to introduce themselves. Xenom, the god of creation and creator of this world. Rhyme, the god who governs death and the cycle of rebirth. OMG Mommy. Reno, god of magic. Sarnos, god of war. Grim, god of technology. Panam, god of commerce or we say Santa Claus. Bella, god of earth. Now, Rhyme then tells him, as he was protecting two young girls from a man, but even if he hadn't done that, the man was going to trip and fall, and to be restrained by passers-by. Which means his death was pointless. But because he died doing a good deed, the god of earth requested that Cain to be reincarnated in this world. Cain thanks the gods, he is really glad for that as he now lives a happy, fulfilling life with his parents and sister. All seven gods then grant him all of their protection. 
the priest has never seen all seven statues shine so bright before. His father then asks Cain to show his status. Cain had a bad feeling so he ran to check his status after that weird interaction. Bro was shocked. I mean just look at this. He then tries status conceal to conceal his powers from his family. Back in the palace, they celebrate Cain's fifth birthday. His mother then asks what was that bright light was about. Cain then checks his status. Bro messed up the most simple spell. They found out all of his power levels because he forgot to fix this magic level. His dad is really amazed but he is more worried as it could be seen as a threat to the kingdom. He tells everyone in the room not to let anyone know about this. Cain grabs a book and starts practicing magic outside to summon a fluffy. It worked but it don't look fluffy to me. The same situation happened again where he needs to protect two young girls from a threat. He did the same thing but now he has cheats. He deleted the monster as he fell to the ground below. Did bro chose to die this time? Nope, with cheats on now, he is alive and well. He is happy he didn't fail the girls this time. He then announces to everyone that his dream is to meet, help and protect the people. He is going to be an adventurer.